Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going a little deeper. We need to go deeper as an early access co-op submarine game. And let's jump right in. Normally there will be four people playing on your team. You need a captain to drive the ship, a gunner to shoot the gun, an engineer to allocate power, and a mechanic to fix damage and really defend the other players from uh, boarding attacks. Uh, we have $735. We could go buy a hat. Oh, everything costs so much. So much more than $735. Uh, 500, 6, 7, 8. Oh, we could almost get the whole prison outfit. Mm, you know what? We're going to save our money. We're going to get the prison outfit after this level. Gonna go into customization, see if we're wearing proper attire. We are still dressed up like Indiana Space Monkey, that is just fine for now. Gonna host a game, gonna call it Go 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 Go. Alright, we have three choices in ship the largest ship, the Requin, mid sized ship, the Crevette, and this little guy here, the Pearl. This is what we're gonna be diving in today. Uh, there are three floors to this ship. The top floor is where the captain drives, the middle floor is the gunner, and the bottom floor is going to be the engineer. There's a hallway here where the mechanic can basically access all these rooms, fixing holes, defending the other players as they do their job. I'm going to rename this the Red October and get to dive in. The first thing they're going to ask us to do is go ahead and choose an item. Now, the only items available to you are ones you've come across in the wild already, so the white ones are the ones I've already come across. We have a water pump, we have a chef's knife that chops enemies into little sushi bits that you can eat and heal yourself with. We have a laser gun, we have a pipe wrench, a medical bag, a sword, and a regular wrench. We're going to go with a regular wrench today. I know you're thinking it's kind of boring, but it actually, out of all these choices I have, being by myself, going to be able to defend myself from enemies, going to be able to repair hull damage, this is the choice for us. And there we are. We are on the bottom floor. This is the engineering area. Turn everything on with this button here. And that will let you allocate four different capacitors worth of power. These four capacitors can light up four bulbs, but there are way more than four bulbs here. So you're going to have to play around with a few different combinations. Um, I'm going to go up one floor to the armory. This is the gunner station. You can control the gun. It goes all the way around in a circle. If you have one light chosen in engineering, it will use a machine gun. If you have two lights, it will use a cannon. These are the cannon rounds. You pick up a cannon round, you stick it in a hole. Pick up another cannon round, stick it in the second hole. Pick up another cannon round, stick it in the third hole. And then you can shoot three times and repeat the process. It's all a bit much for me. I like the machine gun. We'll leave it at that. Top floor, captain's quarters. We have a bed. You lay down on the bed, your health goes up. This is the hull integrity over here at 40. And the little number above us, five, means we are five fathoms deep currently. We just started, and here is the steering wheel. Yeah, you can steer down, you can steer up, you can steer right and left, but you can't go anywhere without any power. So let's go allocate a little power in engineering. Power's on, we're gonna give one to machine gun, one to shield, two to propulsion, and we are gonna hurry back to that driver's seat as the ship is taking off without us already. And here we go, gonna go a little deeper. These fish that you're seeing right here, completely docile, they aren't gonna hurt us one bit. Nothing really hurts you at the top of the biome. Uh, you want to get down a little bit, 100 fathoms, 200 fathoms, sometimes three or 400 fathoms, and you start running into enemies. Uh, we did not look out in the random biome choice today. We got frozen. Frozen biome is pretty rough. You got penguins that'll break in and bite you. You got narwhals that'll stab huge holes through your ship. It'll start leaking and sinking. And you have killer whales. All three of those. Very high damage and it takes a lot of shots to take them down. Hopefully we don't run into them for a little while at least. Gonna try and get down as far as we can go. We are looking for a cave right now. If we find a cave, 
we can dock. If we can dock, we can get out of our ship, walk around, find some treasure, battle some enemies. And that's what this game is all about, getting that treasure. I am addicted to the treasure. I need more hats, I need more shirts, I need more weapons. Eventually, I'm hoping that you can buy a new ship with that gold. But for right now, costumes are great. And we've gone pretty far down so far. Let's check our depth. We're already at 400. We haven't run into anybody yet. Any minute now. Shamu is going to be coming around that corner trying to take us out. Hopefully we find a cave. we got to be close. We're pretty much sticking to the right side as of right now. Probably should have gone left. Try to avoid the Shamu. Please tell me he just swum off. He's not interested. He didn't even see me. Yep. That sound means he didn't see me. Oh no, a narwhal. We're about to get double teamed right here. Now sometimes you can avoid getting bitten. Going left and right, left and right. Right as he's biting, you kind of move out of his way. It's not working right now. We are leaking. We need to shoot this guy. Take those bullets, take them, explode. Oh no. Of course he called his friends. Come on, come on. Explode! Yeah. Alright, right before we drown, we're gonna repair these holes, and we are good to go. Run back up to that pilot seat, and continue our merry way. These are randomly generated biomes. We wouldn't have necessarily started every time with this frozen biome. Could have been a tropical biome. Could have been a dead biome. Quite a few starting biomes. They randomly choose you. Um, all the shapes that you're seeing, all the paths that we're taking, those are all random. You're never going to find one that's the same as another. It's nice. A lot of replayability here. Again, would be a lot easier if I had a crew. But we're going solo today. We're going to see how deep we can get on our own. So far we've run into one cave. We are hoping beyond hope that we hit another cave here pretty soon. I want some more gold. It's been a few minutes. I need to go mining. I need to smash some crabs. Ooh, don't hit that too hard. If you hit your ship into a rock where you're going too fast, it will damage your hull. You will poke a little hole in it that you will have to repair. We're doing good right now. Doing all right. Let's check our depth really quick. See if we can slow down and just barely rest on that edge. Nope, okay. Let's see if we can rest over on this edge. All right. So far, we are 1,096 fathoms. Not bad. Not bad. Hopefully, we are going to get a lot deeper. And there is a cave. Saved. Rescue. Gold. Yeah, we have no weapon. Just going to go for it. Going to smack these crabs with a wrench. Where are you going, crab? That was the smallest amount of gold I think I've ever gotten. Nine. Oh, there's a pile. There's a pile. Carl the Sturdy. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna avoid Carl the Sturdy, I think. I'm gonna avoid that guy too. I'm gonna see how far out we can get before things get crazy. It looks like things are gonna get crazy fast. Come on, little guy. Run. Run. Yeah. Got some fuel. Got some more gold. We are getting rich. We're gonna live. Gonna bait the 
this guy over here on his own so I don't accidentally hit that clam and start a big fight. Oh, I need that gold. A little bit. There's more hiding under that dirt. Yeah, gimme. Kill these guys. Can you grab that? There we go. Let's crawl through here. Take some fuel. A little bit more gold. Gonna take that battery on our way back out. Once you grab that, you can't grab anything else. You gotta go right back to the ship. There are different bottles of different random things. They don't say what they are, but they usually have a symbol on them. Down to one health. I'm hoping this isn't the bottle of poison. Hey, look at that! 12 health? That was a good move. That was a good move. Could have been poisoned to death. Instead, we have way more health than we had a minute ago. Let's see what other treasures we can find. What is this? EMP damage, all right, all right. We do have an EMP if you go down to engineering. The main power switch, if you switch it in the up position rather than the down position, it will shoot out an EMP, killing everything on the screen. But if there's something right outside the purview, right off the screen, it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you and you got 15 to 20 seconds of just laying there dead in the water. EMP kills your ship too that <laughs> just gonna make a run for it running for our lives want to get this last battery in and we made it still have 10 health Let's see if we can boost that back up to 12 that was really weird are you wow it is Okay, so that elixir we took did give us a increase of two in our max health. Not bad, not bad. Let's go down to engineering. Now, with this battery, it's going to give us a virtual capacitor. Instead of having four, we now have five. So we can light up five bulbs. Going to put that into the shields. And we're going to start us up. Going to give us one gun, one shield. Propeller. We are going in hyperspeed now. Nothing's gonna catch us. Except perhaps this giant block of ice. Okay, we're good. Uh oh. That balloon sound can only mean one thing. Gonna dodge him left, right, left, right. Hopefully we can get around this corner. We are going pretty fast. We might be able to lose them around a corner. Not today. Not today. And now we're in trouble. The Huntress. This is a boss. We're gonna get everything we got. Every time he bites us, our health is going down massively. Yeah, the 33. He's almost dead. Really not damaging him as much as I thought he would. Alright. He's down. We have successfully beaten the first boss. Uh, we still got a hole somewhere on the ship. Hey, there's one. 38. We still got a dent somewhere. A little hole in the making. There we go. And we are back up to 40. Gonna go back up to the pilot seat. Woo! Alrighty. Continue our journey to the deep south. And that glowing yellow light coming from the bottom of the screen does mean we are nearing the end of this biome, and that also means we are in we are nearing the end of this episode gonna cut it off right here as soon as it switches the biomes
Alright everybody, that's where we are going to leave it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Space Monkey signing off.